Wars Galaxy Hero Players, this is Anditash Ordo, and today I'm going to be doing a, uh updated, vi or the video about uh, Captain Han Solo, his information was released. I found it, it says it was edited the, the 11th, but today's the 14th, which is Monday, so I don't know when it came out. All I know is I didn't notice it until I saw someone else had posted a video, so I'm going to go ahead and cover him, uh, cover him. So... Captain Han Solo, <clears throat> he's a rebel scoundrel support. It really makes me wonder is all the healers that have been either attackers or support, well, aside from Short Trooper, which is a tank, um, it, there's no healing. I'm surprised this is not a healer, which is kind of crazy because he, he heals characters. So we'll definitely go over that. But it is the... Um, it is the garment of the hoth while he was on hoth and which this was the kind of the gear i was thinking that um luke skywalker commander luke skywalker would be in but is not so uh, let's go ahead <clears throat> you can't we don't know where he's going to be unlocked yet so yeah uh he risks himself to revive allies and day's enemies okay so here is disabling shot let's see if i can get it to No, it's not going to work. Okay, then. So it says, deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict daze for two turns. Empire targets can't resist or evade and take double damage from this attack. <clears throat> if Han is, Han is at full health, gain 30% turn meter. So Empire enemies have to be dazed. It's a permanent daze, unfortunately. But... Eh, it still works. It's like a basic daze. Like, we're starting to get a little more characters with daze popping up. Just to, you know, kind of control the counterattacks and the assists. So, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Um, hunker down. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. Whoosh. All those. So, dispel all debuffs on Han and target ally. And they both recover health equal to 40% of Max um, Han's max health. And 25% turn meter. This is if it's maxed out, obviously. Then, if target ally has full health, they also recover 20% protection. This is something that you don't see in healers, which I hope they kind of update with, like, the Night Sisters and all. Is the fact of healers being able to heal protection if they're already kind of maxed out on health. They can kind of give some protection. <clears throat> That's whenever they decide to do the Night Sister uh, faction pass. Um, this ability's cooldown is reduced by one whenever an ally suffers a debuff. That is interesting. So, if someone, if Vader, Vader does his Force Crush, and as long as it's not Zeta Vader, <laughs> um, this cooldown is gonna, you know, it'll come back and he'll be able to, it, unfortunately it's a targeted cleanse heal, but it's still a pretty good ability. Especially if, if you use this to keep a tank alive. Like, Shore Trooper heals himself up um, all the way and gives everyone protection, or he taunts and then everyone gets critical immunity. And then he goes next. He could uh, just use this on Shore Trooper, and boom. They also gain some protection, and that helps him out. He helps Thrawn out, if, because Thrawn can do the same thing, so it's kind of nice. Um, then his special ability... <clears throat> Okay, here's a special and a unique. Yep, yep. The second special ability is uh, search and rescue. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of makes sense because he was on Hoth looking for uh, Luke Skywalker. Um, so revive a random defeated ally at one percent health and zero turn percent turn meter. Whoa, that's interesting. If the ally is a rebel ally, they recover fifty percent health. And gain 50% turn meter. The one thing I hate I have a downside to this is he, once he comes at full 1% health and someone goes next, they could easily just wipe it out again. So, un unless it actually also heals, but this also only heals rebel allies, which is kind of unfortunate to like if it healed like um, the ally just at 35% health and then rebel allies gain 25% more health, you know, that would make sense. <sighs> Um, but they didn't do that, but it's whatever. Um, a lot of revives, the only, like, the best revivers in the game are Old Daka and 
Ewok Elder. Ewok Elder has two special abilities, reviving, and Old Doc has one special and one unique. Um, then, the nick of time, <clears throat> his unique ability. Captain Han Solo has a 15% crit chance and 30% crit damage. In addition, at the end of his turn, Han recovers five, or health equal to 10% of his max health. If Han is already at full health, uh, the least healthy ally is healed instead. Wow, that's nice. <clears throat> so you really you really throw health mods and some speed mods on him or health mods with speed, secondaries and third and or uh primary uh, well the arrow would be uh primary speed and then everything else would be good secondaries. I was going to say third and dairy, that makes no sense. <laughs> um but yeah, it, this would make it to where oh okay, now I can uh at the end of his turn he's going to heal the weakest ally, especially if it's a tank, that helps him out. Like if Chase uh, is in this team, there's a. It's going to be eventually to a point of a rebel, uh, at least a triple cleanse, because you could use Akbar, you can use Captain Han Solo, um, Chase. That's four right there, and then you use someone else, and you know like R two or something like that, and then you got this super healthy team of you know healing characters, and you got to. Kind of a triple cleanse team for Rebels, but not super triple cleanse like uh, the current ones. Chase, Rex, General Kenobi, and Darth Nihilus. So, yeah, it's whatever. <clears throat> also, whenever he uses basic attack, he gains 10% max health stacking for five turns. So, that is going to be nice. We're, we'll get to see how well he does. Like, honestly, my personal opinion, I, I will still say I would have thought they would put this in heal or in a healer, unless they're going to combine support heal together as one kind of uh, class, because they have yet to give any healers any more support. Uh, they've always been throwing them as support characters. So I think they could start calling them heal healer slash support, or maybe a support then slash healer or support just as a support, or unless they decide to do support slash something else. Um, because some support characters just, you know, they still do massive damage. It's like, what? So, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing with the classes anymore. Uh, a lot of characters are now just, a lot of the good healers are going to be support or attackers. It's kind of, I will admit, kind of disappointing, but it's whatever. But some of his strategy is, Day's one of the most powerful, uh, Day's is one of the most powerful debuff, and utilizing Captain Han Solo's disability shop to apply days to the right target can create a swing, can greatly swing the battle in your favor. Keeping him healthy will go a long way, keeping everyone else topped off on health and protection. You also have to watch out for Boba Fett, Darth Nihilus, and they didn't mention this, but also Death Trooper, his uh, Terminate. So you got Annihilate, uh, Terminate, and... Oh, what is Boba Fett's ability? Anyways, you get they got three characters that can deal with uh, preventing revives happening. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm gonna look at those really quickly. So Boba Fett's right there. Execute. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I thought of it just right before it loaded up, but execute. Um, enemies defeated can't be revived. Then you got Darth Nihilus. Oh, these are all dark sides, so we'll just go whoop. Um, wherever the heck Darth Nihilus is. Darth Nihilus is Annihilate. Um, the defeated target can't be revived. And then, to prove it all, and I'm sure they probably just made a mistake on that one, but they, the main two are those. Boom. Let's max it out. There we go. If there are any defeated enemies... Oh, wait. Oh, no. What? Did I read that wrong? Hold on, let me read it. Oh, yeah. Targets defeated by Terminate can't be revived. So, there's three abilities. Um, <clears throat> well, any character that revives Ewok Elder, Old Daka, and even Jen Erso has a revive mechanic in one of her abilities. And now, uh, Captain Han Solo. They do have to watch out for those characters because of of that risk so but yeah um like i said this is captain han solo like i said i do hope they do something with these you know the change of uh me personally uh change of like classes to figure out what they're going to do with it 
But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Captain Han Solo. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and even share if you can. Be much appreciated, and you guys have a wonderful day.